Hello there. In this video we're going to work with an arithmetic sequence where we know two of the terms and we're going to use them to figure out what the rule is for that and then uh, some other term way on down the line. So the key thing here is that this is arithmetic and we can write the generic rule for a sequence that we know is arithmetic. And that must have this form where you have your starting at point and then uh, you move forward the common difference, the number of times that uh, you've taken that step. So if this is a 1, we move forward once and we'll be at a sub 1. If this is uh, a sub 2, we're going to move forward twice uh, from that original point. So now it's just a matter of converting this into this form. So that's the first one there. Now I um, this could be written as a sub 10, but I know a sub 10 is 19. I don't know that starting at 1 yet. Uh, I don't know the common difference, but n, I know that n is uh, that one right there. That's that 10. Then we'll get the second one. And all this really is here is a system that we have two equations and two unknowns. Now, normally we write this as uh, uh, 10d, but I was keeping it in, in this form here. Uh, but what's really nice about this one is it's already set up to subtract those out. Okay, so um, 19 minus 55. Ew, you get, uh, well, 55 minus 20 is 35, so I think this is negative 36. Is that right? That looks okay. And then those are going to cancel out. That's the point of that. And here I got 10d minus 31d, so that's negative 21 Okay, let's do some division here. Uh, 36 over 21. These are both divisible by 3. So that's going to give me negative 12 over 7. Um, oh, never negative 7. Uh, so, yeah. Got a common difference of 12 sevenths. Okay, plug this back in and solve for A. So there it goes into that first one. I'm trying to do as much of this as I can without a calculator. Okay, uh, how many sevenths is 19? Well, 20 times 7 is 140. So this should be 7 less than that. So 133 sevenths. And I'll subtract the 120 sevenths equals a sub 0. So a sub 0 is... Well, oh, 13 sevenths. Interesting. Okay, so we can write a rule. Our rule is that a sub n is going to equal a sub 0, which is that 13 sevenths, plus that common difference, d. Oh, I know what d is. Do, 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 do. d was 12 sevenths, and times n. Okay, excellent. Now we can plug in that 100 there. Okay, so 13 sevenths plus, this one's really big, holy moly. So a sub 100 is 1213 sevenths. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's not going to reduce. Yep, it didn't. It was uh, 173 and 2 sevenths. So either one of those answers is fine there. So name of the game. We'll write, create a system, because you know that rule, you got a couple variables, you don't know the common difference of the starting at value, but you have two equations, two unknowns, and then solve for your unknowns, get the rule, and plug in wherever you want to go with it. Alright, thanks for watching, Character Scholarship for Life.